What's up, folks? All of my productions. Another newsreel for y'all. News article. Gotta bring the news to y'all. I don't wonder where this newspaper article at. Give me a second, folks. Pull this up. Well, I'll go over the top of the brain on this one. It really ain't that hard. I don't even I already read the article, so I'm just gonna talk about this issue. When it concerns the guardian the guardian angels, sort of like a group of uh individuals to dwarf crime in the communities, that's hard hit. And they, they was talking about Ward 8 at District of Columbia. Here you go. I know I get it. Um, some worry, some worry of volunteer crime fighters. Okay, the Garden Angels founded in New York City in 1979 are a controversial volunteer base or organization that patrols neighborhood streets to dwarf, dwarf crime. You know, it's 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 a good thing to me to have people out there that's willing to put their life on the line for at-risk youth, as far as the gang activity that goes on still in the metropolitan area of uh, <coughs> Washington D.C. I'm a former, uh, I used to live in Ward 8 area, I used to go to that school, they changed the name, they call it Patricia Harris now, it used to be called Friendship, there was a lot of crime going on there, and they, they went on to say in the article, they was talking about uh, uh, Wingate Apartments, and they got a pass uh, apartment complex to kids. And they scared to pass it because of a turf war crime activity going on. And a recreation center is in uh, uh, Wingate, in the Wingate High Rise. It's a state of the art uh, recreation center. The former, you know, the resident of that building was talking about. But it said it, they had some little meetings, you know, they had a little meeting, they got heated. That's what that's what that's what polls are happening in so so people people this you gotta understand, you gotta work it out, you gotta hash out your differences. This is a deterrent. These men are trying to recruit kids eighteen and nineteen, at risk youth, because the gangs is recruiting them. The man was, you know, expounding on what he was talking about, talking about the gangs like to recruit young kids, which they do. They do do that. But my spin on the article when I was reading is this. If you don't get to the core issues, because you can't save them all, here lies the problem. It's a, it's a time limit. If you, don't get to that, if you don't get to that limit or that time, I think they should recruit even earlier. Recruit them early, you know, early than um, 18 and 19, 16, 15. Because these kids are starting out earlier now. They smoking drugs. Some of them are addicts at 13, 12 years old. Scooby snacks, synthetic drugs. Doing mollies, doing everything. Just doing everything under the sun. That's another thing they ain't talked about. They, not only gangs, we have a high, high rate of drug abusers. Young drug abusers in the metropolitan area of D.C. Not just only criminals and, and, and hooligans. Okay, we can talk about this band of bondage all day, but <clears throat> it's a good deterrent since its inception. But it all leads down to men putting their foot down being men in the household. I, get, I got to stress this. We need more fathers in these homes. We need more mothers. Not so much as mothers. We need fathers. Man, 
We need men, okay? Strong black man that can raise a young teenager and raise a young boy to a teenager and then he should already know past it, his teenager who know how to do it for himself and be a man and live in a society as a productive pillar and citizen of his community. Not a thug, not an encroacher, not a parasite, not an interloper. Okay? We need more men in these households. The guardian angels, the guardian angels, excuse me, are a good organization. But those not those kids' fathers. They not their biological fathers. And some of them I'm pretty sure gotta play father roles to the ones that's not even their children or young men because there's no fathers in the home. They either dead or locked up. We got to stop this cycle of this perpetuated violence we do against each other, folks. We need to get to the core issues. Do they deter crime? Do they thwart crime? Yes, they do. But they don't. For the hardened criminal that won't change for nothing, they can be in dangerous way. They might even get, I'm pretty sure some guardian angels got murked, okay? I'm pretty sure of that. So they really putting their life on the line. They are heroes. Yes, they are. Yes, they is. So, you know, I don't see no problem with them going down. Like one lady said, she'd like to see them down at Anacostia Station because there's been a lot of incidents, what have you, down there. As far as it comes to crime within the station and on the bus. I already know. I've been down there a couple times when shit got to cracking down there. <clears throat> So, will it deter crime? Yeah. But, again, if we don't center around core issues, I must keep emphasizing this within the home. See, it starts in the home. It starts in the home. When that child, when that young man gets a certain age, it's off to the races. If he doesn't get indoctrinated to the right living and the right mind process as far as far as not indulging in criminal activity if they don't get to him at that point he or she vice versa they done they're gonna be another part of the system and they're gonna be uh, uh repeated offenders and that's and it, it, that's just generations or more of that see we got to get it at an early age this this is how vicious it is now i'm telling you it's not 19 and 18, they're already gone, half of them. There's no coming back. They done. I'm talking about out the gates. 10, 11, 12, 13. Yes, out the gates. This is why I stress fathers. Fathers. Now, that's one thing I hear a lot of men on social media talking about. They're concerned men when it comes to uh, parenting in the home. Now, I'm all for that. More fathers in the home not on the strip not at the liquor store not in the strip club not in the, not in the trap house not in someone's inst uh, penile institution in the home raising your son and we need men they need help because you got men but not 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 uh, a man in mind. That's another problem. We got a bunch of men running around here, but they still boys. And a boy can't raise a boy. A man. A real strong black brother only can raise a strong black child into a man. Not a boy raising a boy, but a man with a boy's mind. And these are your Killers. These are your murderers. These are your guys that walks among you because they haven't grown up and they're frustrated because they feel like they less of a man because they can't acquire certain certain occupations and jobs that they see real men have. So they act out in jealousy and rage and do whatever to get what they what they satisfy with. This is the problem. We got to get to the core issues. Not Like I say, Golly Angels is all fine and nanny. Presence of them on the street walking around with their pill for now, y'all, is all fine and dandy. But we need to get to the core issues within the black community. Until we get to that, it's still going to be somewhat effed up.
Excuse the expression. I would say I was going to try to clean it up. I think I done pretty good. I ain't going to be perfect in my videos. It might be one or two cuss words. But I think I do, I'm doing pretty good on this one. But like I'm saying, because forget all that. Y'all need to get to the understanding of this doc, of not this documentary, of this uh dialogue. Excuse me. I should make a documentary soon, but that'd be, you know. Sit, send me some. Y'all want a documentary? Send me some feedback. Maybe I, I, I make a collaboration for y'all. Then I'll put one out. I need some feedback, though. My subscribers and the people, I need some feedback. If y'all want a documentary, I will put one out for y'all. If y'all interested in saying one. But anyway, let's get back to this video. The core issues, folks. That's why I, you know, got from the, that article I skimmed over and read. You know, it's it's it been around since I was living in the district. You know, in Ward Eight, I seen the guys out there and various other parts of the city. But <clears throat> crime was still prevalent, and and when I was coming up, crime was really prevalent. You know, there's more drugs than enough. You can stumble on you can stumble on you can stumble on it almost. It was it was just prevalent. But them days are far gone now. Now you got a bunch of desperados out here. And that's what and that's what that's another thing I I gotta stress to y'all. People think it's it's not eighty eight out there no more. It's, them days are over. It's not ninety five. Early not them days are over. It's desperados out here. It's more desperados than hardened criminals. What I mean by desperados, men that do any and everything to get a dollar in their pocket. Desperados. And that is dangerous. But this is what happens. Like my previous video I just produced when they asked the question, does gentrification breed homicide? This is what happens. And this is just another, another uh, uh, tentacle to the situation of both topics. When it comes to the God and the angels and protecting certain um, spots and, and sets of the city. They're trying to get more of them over here and over in Ward 8, over here in the District of Columbia. Like I said, it's fine. It's all good and dandy. But if men don't stand up in 2015 and beyond, start, start a new now. If black men don't stand up. And, and, and some of these black men even scared of the young youth. That is some coward ass shit. Just think, think, my brother, you once was that age. This is why I don't fault them. I used to be off the chain when I was 16, when I was 13, 14. I was a crazy son of a bitch out in the streets, fighting, knuckling up, hitting it, but people with, overhead with bottles, chains, bats, anything I could grab. That's how that's how it is when you're coming up in the city. Unfortunately, either 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 protect yourself or get or get stomped. Either 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 run or either run or hey, either run the show or get ran over. That's how it is. But those those was the days when I missed those days. Boys was boys, men was men, cause we knuckled up. Now we got a bunch of cowards that will result to a gun to solve the issue. And then you take that gun away from them, they can't fight worth a lip. A lip. Half of these dudes out here, straight pussy. You take that gun away from them, straight pussy. Can't fight. And y'all know this. That gun, that great equalizer solves their problem. But, in it, but at the end of the day, brother, you got, you got family members looking for you. See, this is what I always stress in my videos. You think, you the thoroughest dude, you think, you kill someone, you think that shit ain't gonna circumvent and come back. You say I'm mistaken. Motherfucker is gonna look for you. It might not happen in a year. It might not happen in months. It might not happen in a couple years. Then all of a sudden, someone grows up, get the courage, and know who the fuck done they and that's it. That's your ass. It pays not to do that. But these things happen, folks, unfortunately, when you come out of a bad environment and the people that raise you are bad themselves. We got to stop this generational dysfunctional living. We got to stop this smoking and drinking and 
sex in the front of your kids in the home, doing all kinds of demonic activity within your residence and your kids just sponge off from you and they think that's how life supposed to be and they grow up dysfunctional adults don't give a fuck about the world the boys think thug is being a man and a woman think hoeing is being a woman there you go it's just a setup for more destruction now I didn't gave you some more knowledge about what I think about this uh, Gaia Angel stuff. Look at the other video too. I produce both of these videos today. I encourage y'all to look at them, rewind them, fast forward, whatever y'all do. Look at them again. Show it to your kids. Show it to whoever you know so they can get some insight and some knowledge. Because that's what it's about. That's what it's about. We always talk about the black community. Black community got problems. The problem starts with the side of the hole. That's the origin. If the mom ain't right, nine times out of ten, the daughter ain't gonna be right. If the father ain't right, nine times, nine times out of ten, the sons ain't gonna be right. And if the family don't have it, don't even have no parents at all, it's screwed. Look at foster parenting. Ain't too many uh, uh, success stories come out of foster homes. Just a fifth of few. Children going from home to home, pillar to post. Then some of them people molesting them kids and every damn thing. Oh, but you don't hear about that. You don't hear about that within these institutions. They, they molest these kids. Kids grow up, minds all messed up. Again, develop more problems. See, again, it's an origin. If you don't correct it from the gates, it might be too late. But I'm all for the God of angels. My prayers go to, to you brothers and sisters who's doing that. Because I know it's some dangerous times. And y'all brave for even doing that. At least there's some still. Some uh, brave cats out here that will stand up for the uh, the, inner, the inner structure within these communities. That's low rent and depoverished and, and poverty stricken. Yeah, something to think about. Something to think about. Hope y'all enjoyed this uh, dialogue, commentary, what have you. When it's all said and done, everything is in black and white. All of my productions. Peace.